Welcome to this module where we will be talking about data transformations or data processing using Pandas. This module is all about modifying and enriching datasets to extract meaningful insights. Transformation is a critical step in any data analysis pipeline bridging the gap between raw data and actionable insights. First, let us talk about why data transformation or processing important. Raw data often isn't ready for analysis. It needs to be reshaped, aggregated, or enriched to answer specific business questions. Data transformation enables you to create new metrics or features for analysis. Then second one is nothing but summarizing data to uncover trends or patterns. Then the third one is to combine datasets for a holistic view. Then fourth one is nothing but to prepare data for visualization or machine learning. Now let us try to uh, use our Toyota sales dataset as example and understand the importance of data transformation or data processing. When it comes to our Toyota sales dataset, we might want to see sale amount by sales representative, which means we need to group the data by sales representative and compute the sale revenue using the sale amount field that is there in one of the datasets. Also, our primary dataset, which is nothing but Toyota sales dataset, we doesn't have commission amount. We have commission percentage and sale amount. Using these two, we might want to compute commission amount and add an additional column to our existing Pandas data frame. Already we have seen in the past, we'll reiterate in this module as well. Uh, when it comes to our sales data and sales reps data, they are in two datasets. We might want to merge these two and see the regional performance to analyze the trends by geography. These are some of the examples of data transformation or data processing. We can come up with as many examples as you want based on the datasets we are using for the analysis. Now let us understand the key objectives of this module. By the end of this module, you will learn how to group data and calculate aggregations like totals, averages and counts. Uh, you will also go through the details about creating and updating columns with derived metrics. Then the third one is nothing but merging datasets using joins and concatenations. Then fourth one is nothing but applying custom transformations to rows and columns using functions. Then the fifth one and final one is nothing but chaining multiple transformations for efficient workflows. Let us also understand what will you learn in this module. This module is divided into six key lectures. Uh, they are nothing but group by and aggregations. Uh, here you will learn how to summarize data by groups. Then the second one is nothing but adding and updating columns. Uh, you will understand how to create new metrics or update existing ones. Then the third one is nothing but merging and joining data frames. You will see how to combine data sets for a comprehensive view. Then the fourth one is nothing but applying functions. You will understand how to use custom logic to transform data. Then the fifth one is nothing but combining multiple transformations. You will learn to chain operations for complex workflows. Then finally, a summary and a transition where we will recap the techniques and prepare for exploratory data analysis. Even though I have highlighted five different topics, these five different topics can be more than five lectures because these are very important and also these can be quite lengthy. Now let us also talk about real world applications. Here are a few real world scenarios where data transformation or processing is essential. The first one is nothing but sales analytics. Uh, we might have to calculate total sales by region, product or sales representative. The second one is nothing but customer segmentation. Uh, we might want to group customers by demographics or spending patterns. The third one is nothing but financial reporting. Here we have to derive metrics like profit margins, average sales or growth rates. Then the final one is nothing but data preparation for machine learning. We might have to engineer features to improve model performance. Here, I am only mentioning based on the sales data we have, but depending upon your use case, you can come up with infinite number of real world scenarios when it comes to using Pandas for data analysis. When it comes to datasets, for this module, we'll continue working with our Toyota sales dataset. We have two uh, files. One is actual sales data. Second one is sales representative's data. We'll use these two datasets and we'll go through all important details with respect to data transformations or data processing. When it comes to the usage, we'll use Pandas for all transformations, leveraging its powerful functions for grouping, joining, and applying custom logic. Uh, let's start with the first lecture, uh, which is nothing but group by and aggregations. As it is a very important topic, I might break down into multiple lectures, but we'll start with one of the scenarios with respect to group by and aggregations, and we'll take it further. In this lecture, or the lectures related to this topic, we'll learn how to summarize data by groups, such as calculate the total sales by representative or car model 
see you there data transformation is the bridge between raw data and actionable insights by the end of this module you will have the skills to reshape enrich and summarize data sets for any analysis let's get started